Hello. In the following videos, I will walk you through the basic operations of the smart board. First, turn on whatever source you want to use. Next, find the power button. Once you press the power button, it should blink green while the projector warms up. If you don't see the source you want, you may need to press the input button multiple times. The name of the source that's being displayed will appear in the lower corner. You can control the smart board by pressing anywhere on the screen. This will register a left click. If you want to register a right click, first press the right click button, then touch the screen. You can also use the on-screen keyboard by pressing the keyboard button. Then type. To start drawing or writing, pick up any of the writing tools. When you pick up the tool, a light will go on. The light in the tool slot determines which color the tool will write. There's also an eraser in the middle. If you want to save your drawing, click on the camera icon in the top corner. This will open Smart Notebook. From here, if you click on your drawing and then go to the File menu, you can export as either a web page, an image file, a PDF, or a PowerPoint presentation. If you're not happy with your drawing, you can click the icon that looks like a square with a starburst. This blanks the screen and gives you a fresh layer to draw on. It's also possible to record everything that's going on on your desktop. You do this by launching Smart Notebook using the icon on the toolbar. This will bring up this menu on the Tools tab, and you'll see Smart Recorder. Once Smart Recorder has launched, you can press the red Record button, and it will start recording everything that goes on on the screen. And when you're done, hit Stop, and it will prompt you to save your video as a Windows Media video file will take a little bit of time to encode. Once the video has encoded, you can share it either by placing it on a flash drive or emailing it if the video is small enough. When you're done using the smart board, you can turn it off by pressing the same button you used to turn it on. You need to press it twice. Once you've pressed it, the light will blink orange and the projector will cool off. If you need any more information on how to operate a smart board, please contact Media Technologies at extension 7132 or mediatechnologies at bergen.edu.